Hi, I'm Patrick Mathwig, a summer intern with the Minnesota Department of Agriculture. In Minnesota, private well owners are responsible for testing their own well and for their own drinking water safety. So today, I'm going to show you how to go about screening your well for atrazine. Atrazine is a herbicide used to control weeds in Minnesota cornfields. It can move through soil and potentially contaminate groundwater. You may be wondering if your well is at risk for atrazine contamination. This groundwater susceptibility map shows the most geologically susceptible areas to contamination in red. It should be noted, however, that the green areas of this map may be less at risk for contamination but are not immune. There are other things that could cause your well to be at risk for contamination regardless of its geological susceptibility to contamination. Some things to ask yourself if you own a private well are, is your well in close proximity to agriculture fields and facilities where atrazine or other chemicals are used or stored? Is it old, built prior to 1974? Is it shallow, less than or close to 50 feet in depth? Is it a dug, drive point, or bored well? Or has your well ever tested positive for nitrates? Answering yes to one or more of these questions increases the risk that your well water might be contaminated. If you're on a city water supply, you can contact your public water supplier for a copy of their water quality report which will include information on the presence or absence of contaminants in your drinking water. Although you may be concerned about atrazine, the Minnesota Department of Health highly recommends also testing once for arsenic, annually for total coliform bacteria, and every couple of years for nitrates, or annually if nitrates have previously been detected in your well. For more information on the Minnesota Department of Health well testing recommendations, visit their website at the shown address. But back to atrazine. Screening your well for atrazine is easy to do, and an immunoassay screen is an inexpensive first step to checking your well for atrazine and is an alternative to more expensive and detailed tests. An immunoassay screen will cost between $25 and $50. If you decide that you want to screen your well for atrazine, the first thing you need to do is decide on a lab. Follow the link on your screen for a list of labs that provide this service. Once you receive your sample kit, which may look like one of the two I have here, it is important to first carefully read all information that comes with the sample kit and then decide when and where you will take your sample. The sample must be delivered within two days, so it is best to take the sample at the beginning of the week and then mail or ship it out the same day that you take it. Once you decide when, you need to decide where you will take your sample from. You can take your sample from any faucet in your house, but it is advisable to take a sample of your untreated water, which you can get from an outside tap, hydrant, or a release valve that is before your water softener or any other home water treatment device like I have here. Once you decide where you will take your sample from, the first thing you need to do is label your sample bottle with the time, date, and location of where you take your sample. Then turn on the faucet and let the water run for five minutes to clear the line. Once the line is clear, turn the faucet low so the water is only about the width of a pencil. Fill the bottle and then dump it out. Do this a total of three times to rinse out the bottle. Once you have rinsed your bottle, fill it to about a half an inch from the top and then securely place the cap on. Lastly, fill out any forms that came with your sample kit and then promptly mail or send the sample kit back to the lab so it arrives there within two days. You should get your results back within 10 days. The results of the screen I had done on my home well show that the concentration of etosine in my sample was less than the detection limit of the test, which is 0.1 parts per billion meaning that there is no atrazine in my well water. The Minnesota Department of Health has established that levels below 3 micrograms per liter, which is the same as parts per billion, do not pose a risk to your family's health. It is important to note that the immunoassay screen can only estimate the atrazine concentration of your water. Because this is a screen, the result of 1 to 2 parts per billion may indicate a higher concentration 
you may want to have a more expensive test done, costing $125 and higher, in order to obtain a precise concentration. If atrazine is detected in your water and you want to treat your water, or if you want to treat your water regardless, there are two point-of-use water treatment options for atrazine, activated carbon filters and reverse osmosis devices. If you decide to install a water treatment device, make certain the devices are certified by the Water Quality Association, the National Science Foundation, or the Underwriters Laboratory. Other treatment devices might be needed to address other contaminants like arsenic, bacteria, and nitrates. All treatment devices have limitations and life expectancies, and all systems require routine maintenance and or monitoring. Also be sure to follow all manufacturer recommendations. For more details on any of the information you have heard in this video, and for information on atrazine monitoring results, including drinking water well test results, go online to the MDA website shown on the screen. For more information on atrazine health risks, visit the Minnesota Department of Health's website at www.health.state.mn.us and search private well water.